Hello guys and thank you so much for coming to another one of my videos uh, Today I finally have the gameplay of Bindura I actually have been trying to play this champion for you guys But I haven't been able to do so But don't worry, don't worry guys, I finally managed to get a match And it was a pretty interesting match guys um, I thought that it was pretty pretty intense Therefore I decided to go for this one um, I, uh, I recommend uh, you can go ahead and build her I mean Bindura in two different ways that I found so far um, the first it is, um, attack damage, that is the one that I actually kind of prefer, but she does very well with ability power. Now, you can also have a different build in case, uh, you require to have a different build, but if you're going for attack damage, you can go ahead and, uh, level up your poison first, the thing is that it's gonna help you, and then you can level up your, your web second, but you have to level it up all the way. To level four the thing is that since you're gonna be relying on attack speed your one actually slows down the enemy and it gives you movement speed buff and attack speed buff so if you go for attack damage level up that one first if you go for ability power you have to level up your poison uh first so you have to prioritize different skills going with your build i am going for attack damage so i am going to go ahead and level up my my one now right now I am waiting for her to jump on me again so I can go all out because I knew that my third stack was going to be the stun. Now what you have to know guys is that with Bendera you actually have a um, a passive which uh, is going to be activated. It's it's a shield. It gets generated around you every time that you cast uh, three spells. Therefore you're going to be able to to have a stack each one each time that you cast a skill. As you can see I had three stacks. And I have this shield that explodes and anything that it touches is gonna stun them. It deals damage and it stuns the enemy. So that's pretty nice. So every three abilities just stun the enemy. So you can combo. For example, you can uh, you can cleanly jump with your ultimate, use your one, and then use your three. And you're gonna be able to uh, slow down the enemy, but you can also deal a ton of damage. And uh, the way you can poke, you can poke with your two, even though you don't deal that, a lot of damage if you're going for attack damage. Uh, the thing is that you actually apply a debuff on the enemy. You poison the enemy, and if you attack a poisoned enemy, you actually deal additional true damage. So that's gonna be pretty pretty nice, guys. So you can leave it at level one, so you can apply the debuff on the enemy because you actually don't increase the duration if you level it up. So that's something that you have to know, guys. Now, in the two builds that I have, I actually go for lifesteal on the attack damage. I go attack speed in lifesteal. And then for my second build, uh, it's ability power. So I will have uh, things like Trollbane and also um, it's Archmage Dagger. So it can help me with the attack speed. And whenever you have your shield, you can go ahead and get close to the minions. So you can go ahead and, and stun them. Oh, shit. They're going all out. Now she has a heal, she can heal with her ultimate, and that's actually really bad for us. But right now, I was trying to to see if my true damage was going to be... Uh, I died because of the passive that she has. Uh, Sasha, if she attacks you, she actually makes you bleed. It's similar to Aldo. So you bleed and uh, I died because of the bleeding. But we're doing fine so far, I mean, we're doing okay. We are pretty close actually. We have 12 minions each and we have 2 and 1 uh, kills. I mean 2 kills and 1 death. Let's see what else we can get. Mm. Give me just one second guys. <laughs> okay, it's this one. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, what I was expecting to do there, guys, I was actually expecting to be able to stun the enemy and just be able to attack the tower without any problems, but I failed to notice that I was actually being targeted by the... Um, by the tower because the enemy was wrapped and uh, 
And since the rub applies a poison on the enemy, it was registered as if I was dealing damage to the enemy. Therefore, the tower uh, prioritized me. Now, whenever you have an enemy on your web, you actually reduce their movement speed by 50%. And if you poison the enemy, you, you, you reduce, I'm sorry, you reduce their movement speed by an additional 30%. So it's a debuff of a total of 80% movement speed. It's very good for ganking and escaping. So that's pretty nice, guys. Now, one of the talents that I have with um, Bindera is going to be that every time that I use an ability, I actually get 10% attack speed for 4, 5 seconds, I believe. So that's pretty nice as well. I didn't know what to go for. So I decided that she would rely a lot on, uh, on attack speed, and she kind of needs attack speed. And since I go for the um, the gank and kill, that's pretty nice because I will probably have the attack speed, the 10% more attack speed uh, proc whenever I gank someone. Right here, I'm just trying to go for the poke. Uh, oh shit, no, I'm dead. What I wanted to do is, I thought that I was going to be able to stop my enemy with my ultimate, but it's not a silence, so I, I don't think it should have been stopping the enemy. From doing anything. Oh, she has nice life too. <sighs> right now, yeah, I'm debating on changing my build. The thing is that since we have it, we practically have the same build. Therefore, I have to make a decision whether, if not, I should keep it like this because I don't think it's gonna work very, very well because the other enemy has uh, better abilities to burst someone down. She can stun me whenever she wants, and she she has a really nice um, stun, and she can also teleport to you and deal additional damage now her ultimate is made to burst enemies and um, my ultimate is more like support therefore it's gonna be a little bit more difficult and she's being very aggressive which is very nice guys I, I like the way that she's playing and that's why I chose this uh, match to upload it <laughs> Okay guys, I am going to go ahead and change my build. I am going for the same build that I use with Alice. It's going to be flame armor, agility shoes, and uh, do mask. The thing is that I need to survive her ganks. And that I have to take the game late game. As you can see, I was able to survive. I am not interested in attacking her. But you can see that she is still being very aggressive. And that's actually very, very nice, guys. Oh, she already got armor. It's fine. Right now, we are only interested in taking the game a little bit further to late game. So I can go ahead and survive better her ganks. And uh, I want to zone her uh, as well so that she loses experience as well. And as you can see, she's actually... Um, she's actually... Well, most of the time, she's inside of the tower range. So that's... Uh, that oh, she came. She didn't heal. Why? <laughs> let's walk. Let's walk right into the ultimate. But whenever she uses the ultimate, I'm actually not afraid of her, because uh, that's her opportunity to but burst me down. It was that. Damn, she's she's hitting a little bit harder. Is it possible? Okay, we're gonna go for more ability power. Okay, she's just going for more power. She's probably going for Dragon Sword for the penetration. Let's see. Again, I just want to poke her as much as I can. And I want to make sure that I have as many minions alive. And that is so that they can deal damage to the tower. Again, if I... Um, right here, I'm just trying to be a distraction if, to see if she walks into my direction. If she does, I'll just jump out with my ultimate. Again, I want just the minions to be able to, to poke the tower. That's mainly the purpose of this. Let's see. Yeah, we're doing fine so far. Right now, I, I want to see if I can attack the tower. Oh, okay. Looks like we don't need the ultimate to escape. That was in case he, uh, she used her um, stun. 
So right here, there you go. Oh, damn it. The thing is that the minions had the aggro. I'm sorry. Uh, she had the aggro of the minions. So if the minions ever attack her, she actually... Uh, she actually loses free from the web. The only way is to be free from the web is if you get attacked by one minion or if you get attacked by me. I, I don't think the, the tower procs the... I'm sorry, breaks the web. So that's pretty, pretty interesting. Oh, she already got Dragon Sword. So that's why she has a lot of penetration. Looks like we're going to have to go for a little bit more defense. I am going to go ahead and get Mitchugard. Mitch Hangard, guys. Sorry. Because it's going give, to give us a uh, pretty nice boost in ability power. It's going to be 120. We're going to be getting the additional 15% uh, lifesteal. I'm sorry, spell bamp. And then we're also going to get uh, 50 more armor. So that should be pretty, pretty nice, guys. Oh, and that is after I, I go ahead and try uh, going for for the dagger, for Archmage dagger. As you can see, guys, I'm letting the minions that attack the tower. It's pretty much dead, so that's why we're going to wait right here. We want to make sure to be able to get the objective, because right now, we're having difficulties uh, killing the enemy. We have to focus on poking and also the uh, burst of the enemy. As you can see, I was able to slow her down. Which was pretty nice. We can go ahead and go back, heal, and we're gonna come back with full health and our ultimate ready. So see if we can play anything. Let's see, oh, she's right here. Oh, I missed. Ah, fuck. Oh, right here, guys. I missed it up. I wanted to actually hit the tower and, and see if I could um, poke the tower, but looks like I failed. I actually. Oh, I stunned her with my shield. At least I didn't die because of the uh, ultimate. Let's see if I can... No, I need to go back. Oh, no. I oh, fuck. No, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I died because of the bleeding. Okay, guys. But we're doing fine. I mean, oh, she already got more attack speed. That's pretty nice. Let's see. Yeah. Looks like Mitch Hunger is going to help. The thing is, I'm about debating on Trollbane or Mitch Hunger. The thing is that Trollbane is going to help me do better in the poke. I'll do better. And then with um, with Trollbane, I'll be able to poke better. So I, I think I'll, I'll just go ahead and go for, for in this case, uh, Mage Hangard. So right now, we have to actually fight this very well, guys. We cannot let him push anything because he's going to get the core. Actually, I think that if this person would have stayed, they would have been able to take the core with no problems. So let's see how it goes. Right now we're gonna be keeping, uh, we're gonna keep poking the tower so that we can go ahead and uh, and destroy it. I want to keep as much pres pressure as I can. Uh, okay, she got her potion. Let us go ahead and get our potion so we can be at maximum health or closest that we can. A little bit more ability power. Let's see, she's still there. The thing is that she wants to protect her tower very, very bad. So that's gonna be good for us guys because we're gonna be able to to see if we can push it even further. Yeah. Since she's using her attacks on me, she's actually not doing very, very well against uh, them. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, no. Damn it. Yeah. There you go. Again, just keep moving, guys, so that we don't get stunned by her and then get raped by the ultimate. So it's just pretty much to outplay the other person. We have to just be care very, very careful. And But soon we're going to get that, that. Oh. Going. She's still being very aggressive. That's nice. It's low. That's 80% slow, guys. So that's pretty nice. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get the tower. Oh, no. She, she still wants to defend. If she stays here, she's gonna die. I already poisoned her as well. Oh, no. Oh, she's still, like, trying to... Okay, we're gonna go for it, guys. If she gets close, like, right there. Ye yes! Shut down. 480 gold. Okay, since we have full wave minions... And the core, we're going to be able to win this victory. Uh, we Like, have this victory. Now, it is very, very nice, guys, if you drop your one. Because it actually increases your attack speed. And if we get Archmage Dagger, we're going to have a greater boost. So, there you have it, guys. Uh, whenever you poke the tower or, or the core, use your one. So, you can go ahead and attack faster. Well, guys, this is the match that I am going to have for you guys as uh, playing Bindera. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for all of your support, guys. Now, to the other person, uh, she played very well. 
She did very good. La, the build that she had, it was pretty nice. So props to, to the enemy. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe if you haven't.